Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Farmer Mike in No Man's Land. So I got here a little fuel trailer with diesel because I have a vehicle that's run out of diesel. I am also seeding grass in here. I have lined the field, I have cultivated the field and now we are also seeding with grass in here so we can get a big grass field again. So the vehicle that is run out of diesel is actually my Rubicon, my fertilized spreader, so we need to take care of that. He should be down here at the end of this road, I think. So I hope you're all doing well. I am actually recording this episode 25 back to back on field 24, so I'm usually usually not do that, but I feel like to do this because today we're gonna make the biggest and the most weird field. So that will be funny. You can hear the bells in the church. So this will be good and uh, we need to fertilize the the sorghum field as well, yeah, he is right there, I can see him. So we need to turn on the four flashers. Let's see if we can do this. There we go, and we just need to be close to this guy, I think. There we go. Let's jump up to this and see if we can do this. We are not that close and now you can see there is a little bit of diesel in that but it was run out of diesel. Need to be closer. Apparently I think we're gonna drive on the other side. So I have bought some new plots so i own the most of the map now and as you can see my money it is going a little bit down but i have also placed down a lot of trees up near the shop actually by i think it is my field number eight or something like that so now i cannot get any closer to that vehicle that's for sure we're gonna take the stairs now we go. Now we are feeling that is good. And we are full, so we can actually send this guy back to the farm now. I'm just gonna straighten it up a little bit, turn off the four flashes. Now we go. That was good. Let's see, just around there and go to the farm could not find repair station that's okay do i not have a repair station yeah i think i do mm. yeah i do but I, I yeah it's not sure that i got a auto drive for that of course so i can show you what i have done first of all up near the shop I can show you all the trees and afterwards we're gonna drive down to let me show you here in the menu there we go we're gonna make yeah you can see the field boundary here that is a very very weird shape I know that but there is right here we got a rock formation and I'm gonna drive around that and yeah you you will see it but it is quite big and as you can see here it is 27.38 hectares so that is the biggest field for now and the most weird field for now that's for sure and we're gonna plow that field up i don't want to spend the time to mow all the grass and bale it because we got a lot of grass and now we gonna get a big big grass field so everything is good there and up here you can see all the trees i have put down here 
and the shop is just behind the, those trees so that is quite nice looking very good actually and there is a lot of trees so small and big trees so that is very good and as you can see the seating in here is going very very good that is so nice i'm just gonna put my new trailer back at the farm you have not guessed that i should make 25 episodes before i run out of diesel but yeah i should i have removed the fence here and i have put down some bushes as you can see but that was the reason because when cosplay was coming down here and all the way up here it will not start because they will reverse down to the fence and yeah the fence will be in the way so that, yeah, i don't know now it works as it should and that is the most important thing that's for sure so let's pop the new trailer in here we are in the same month and date as the last episode so no more honey to report there uh oh i need to have a driving license for trailers <laughs> there we go just like that and i think we're gonna use No, we're gonna use the fence for the plowing job down at that field, that's for sure. There we go. And let us see. We need to, of course, fertilize this field here, as you can see. The nitrogen is perfect. That must be because of the old grass field, but up here... Uh, in the new area, I don't think the nitrogen is perfect. So, he is right there, and I think actually he was get stuck up there. They are they're doing that, I don't know why. But here, as you can see, the sorghum field, we gonna fertilize, that's for sure. And let's see if he will get stuck here. And then we're gonna take the fence and drive down to the new field area and start to plow that up. Yeah, as you can see, it will not start. Oh man, that is a little bit annoying. That is because of the wall right there. So we have to do it like this. Take cosplay and go to nearest waypoint and stop and start again and then she will drive now it's a he but anywho but for now it will do its job perfectly that is good let's see just here nitrogen bad okay so we need to fertilize the grass field and also the sorghum field but now this is us Plowing up the new humongous field number 13. Yeah. So, as you can see, I have done a lot of prepare preparing here. I have done the auto drive course and also, of course, the field edge itself. So, what I did was that I took cosplay right here. I hit record and also record on auto drive and then I just drive all around the field and yeah that was it actually so we got a very 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 big area now to plow and let's just try to do that shall we I have a little bit of problem generate the course here on on the field so i have to do it in automatic mode so it will not take the longest edge so yeah that's the reason why what are you doing 
This is not the field boundary. Okay. That was a exciting way to drive. And I want to turn off the beacons there. And as you can see, now if I do like this, you can see it will come here and drive around this hill here. And then we got a little bit of a not a mountain but you know a rock formation here so that is very good it will be a big 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 field that's for sure and i'm a little bit excited to see how the rain headers will manage to harvest up here behind because there is a quite of a hill up here so we have to look into that see if we're gonna have some have to do some terraforming or what so yeah that's the way it is right but for now we just have to plow and as you can see down here it will take three hours so we know what to do the next three hours we're gonna just talk and talk and talk and that will be a very long video this no i'm just kidding you <laughs> i'm gonna do some jump cut here and there so yeah i'm gonna show a little bit of the plowing here and a little bit of the liming a little bit of the cultivating and then we're gonna make a montage of the seeding so as you can see here field 13 i have done all the preparing here two times 12 meter seeding cultivating liming plowing and spraying so everything is done there so it is just to hit play that is a very 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 good it will take a long time but man i am excited on this that's for sure so what to do now we have a job let me see actually we should use this but man it is dirty we need to clean this up that's for sure what i will do with this is that we need to roll the new soccer field and then we also need to fertilize the that soccer field and we need to roll and also fertilize the big grass field so i've just take this picture here as maybe a thumbnail but i don't know yet if i'm not using it as a thumbnail then you can see it here you can now see the shape of the field it is it is just crazy and it is big look at the little bit tractor down there in the middle of the screen man it will be so awesome and here we are now driving and yeah it is just i think it's quite cool this i think it is quite cool so i am also do the rolling of the field number four the second field and i have prepared the fertilizer the rubicon and then we're gonna roll the grass field the seeding of the grass field is almost done so that is a nice what do you think about this field? Please let me know down in the comments. And just say, hey, Farmer Mike, or write if you like what you see. And please, please do like my video. It, it will help me so much and help my channel a lot. And do subscribe to my channel. It is all free. Well, the grass field is almost done we are rolling the grass field right now and the rubicon is down here in the background ready to fertilize the grass field here the sorghum field on field number four is ready to go the only thing we have over there is wheat growing so we need to see tomorrow when the wheat is germinated then we can spray the wheat 
and then that is good to go so this is very nice i think we got 162 bales out of grass bales out of this field here the last time now the field is totally fertilized rolled limed everything so i am very excited to see if we're gonna get more bales than 162 but my estimation is yes we <laughs> we're gonna get a lot more bales so that is so cool and the plowing job is going very good you can see it down here in the background actually so that is going very good i have the lime spreader down there and i have also the cultivator down there i think we're gonna do the cultivating job you know the lime and the cultivating job today and then we're gonna see if we're gonna seed it today or we're gonna wait until tomorrow i don't know yet i don't know yet so just to be safe i think i'm gonna make a montage of the cultivating job yeah and now we're going around the island here my animals are doing good everything is just going nicely right now not much to report about so let's see what kind of trouble we can make tomorrow it should not be a problem to make any trouble at all I don't know what to do with the honey though um, I think I'm just gonna sell it as it is and we got a lot of oil as well so that is also good my water mill I have set the flower just to automatic sell I don't want to deal with that now we're gonna get use of the 886 horsepower up at the hill here yeah i hope we do have diesel enough and just check in here at field number 13 it is going very good but we got a long way still that's for sure this is so cool <laughs> and i don't know if i should do anything with the hills up there if I should try to make one big giant grass field on the hills, I don't know yet. Something crazy that could be fun. So yeah, I could have used two or three plows, but you know, hmm, that's okay. I have to go out of the house in a moment and then I'm just gonna let this plow I think and then I will get you in again when it is done or yeah I don't know yet I don't know when I have to drive I got to help some family you will always do anything for your family right so that's the way it is yeah she is doing a very very good job that's for sure i am glad i am very glad that i don't have stones turned on because then we got a lot of stones that's for sure this cosplay here is just working so perfect that is so awesome awesome stuff And as you can see down there, the lime spreader and the cultivator is just waiting for her to be done. But yeah, that will take some time because there is some, you know, some weirdo things here on the field. Some small areas, sharp turns and so on and so forth. But that is a part of the fun game here i think because we got cosplay and cosplay is just doing this you could not get an ordinary worker to do this so perfect as cosplay is doing so 
That is nice. That is very, very nice. So, this is very good, actually. We are coming quite along, as you can see here. All this area down here is plowed, and we only need... Only? <laughs> we need this area here, so... Then the field is plowed. That is quite amazing. The plowing job was actually done, but I forgot to turn down the time and I have been out of the house for 8 hours and now I'm coming back and then it was done and the time was 3.30 no 2.30 am so it was dark and I have saved the game before I left the house so I've just I was just going out of the game and in again and now we are here and this grass field is rolled and we are almost almost done with the fertilizing so that is very good as well and the sorghum field up here at field number four up there is good to go as i said we just need some some weed some spot spraying but we need to have the wheat germinated first and as you can see here the old grass field is partial fertilized so that is also good we only gonna use the fertilizer that we need as you can see here it is fertilized but up here at the new area we are gonna fertilize again so that is good i'm looking forward to this big old grass field here that's for sure and to this old, old big old old field that was difficult to say say that six times in a row when you're drunk <laughs> so yeah that is very awesome i like the field here because it is it's big of course but this elevated field is quite nice perhaps i should level this out a little bit and then or extend the field up here to a next level that could be awesome so yeah as you can see down here in the lower middle 4490 out of almost 5600 so we are not missing that much again And I think actually I'm going to do a combined montage with the liming and with the cultivating. There we go. And there is the roller. I want to see this. Yeah. And as you can see, 768 out of 876. So we are almost done here with the grass field and then we got a perfect grass field that is so awesome line rolled fertilized no weed and that is how it's supposed to be right so that is awesome i'm gonna take you in again when this field is done plowing and we're gonna start the liming so Ooh, I am so excited. That's gonna be awesome. And yes, I think I'm gonna invest in one more plow. That could be quite beneficial for us. So that's the way it is. And now the plowing job is done. That is very good. So we're gonna set this tractor to the farm because we're not gonna need it right here right now so that is awesome so now as you can see i'm gonna jump up in the lime spreader and then we're gonna and then we're gonna send this off with cosplay first waypoint and should i set this to yeah i better do that uh yeah 
what I'm trying to say is <laughs> that he needs the possibility to drive up and buy some more lime I think that will be the best there we go first waypoint and go and the fertilizing of the new grass not the new but the updated grass field is also done so that is quite amazing and yes this will take a while but i think we're gonna get a, a very very nice field i have decided a thing actually i want to and i don't know what field i want to do that in but i want to make a a cotton field yeah we need some cotton it is a long time ago since i have done some cotton at any kind so yeah the greenhouses yes but not on a field and i want to do that actually that is quite good as you can see here we got the elevated field now we are in the lower part here i think this is quite cool actually i was a little bit excited to see if the class could handle this lime spreader but it seems quite nice and sturdy so that is very good sorry if my voice is a little bit different now than it was for a three minutes ago but this is a couple of days later and this is very early in the morning so that is good so you now you know if 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 my voice is a little bit different i have made some round corners here on this field so i think that it should be able just to turn down here and not make a a sharp corner so we're gonna see that and as as you know i have sold my headers so i need to buy some new headers and i think i'm gonna go i know what i'm gonna go with and that is this colossus here and i don't want the unreal i just want this but the reason for that is we can change the color whatever we want so that is very nice and i want to lower this as far as i can 10 kilometers per hour that is awesome uh, we already used 10 percent almost so we gonna i think we're gonna build this bad boy up here a couple of times even though it is 33,000 liters lime trailer but and i know you can also get some that can spread 42 meters and so on and so forth but i think this is quite cool i really like this trailer here beacons the shape the everything about it and the volume it's big and so on so that is the reason for that over there we got the sheep the sheep city <laughs> that is so nice i wonder what month i can harvest my corn because maybe first day in october or something like that i think the growth time is is it seven months or so yeah that's the way it is now you can see it is a cool field i will cut until we are up here on the straight edge and then i'm gonna show you again where we are so it says it will take one and a half hour from now on so that's the way it is look at this it looks quite good i have not been under the plowing job and so on and so forth i have not seen this down here yet so and i just purchased all the soil sampling this looks very good i was considering when i was making the course here i was considering to drive through here and between those stones here but yeah i thought that it was too that was it was too hilly for a combine so that was the reason why i chose to drive this way here and we are actually over 
quite a lot plots here. Let's see. As you can see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight plots. The fields are over eight plots. So, and down here, you can see when he turns right here. There we go. You can see this is my also my field. So I got fields all the way around now. That is so cool. And maybe I'm gonna plow up myself a new field where I can plant some cotton in, perhaps. Yeah. Field number 14 with cotton. That could be quite nice. And just to make some more merch to the... I don't think it's called merch, man. Just to make the map a little more neat to look at. Put it like that. I will... I think I'm gonna use some money on a windmill. You know, the big, big windmill that we got. Let us see, I think we got it in generators because it is a generator, right? So, what do I got? Do I got any mudded? I like the muds. Yeah, yeah there we go. We got those. They are so darn big. But they are also expensive, even though I get 100,000 each month. 100 and 120,000. Okay. That's nice. So I think we're gonna go with that for a while. Not for a while, but later on. I just need to make some more money. I could activate the greenhouses to. Yeah. Now we speak about it. Cotton and just sell that. Then I got my money for that. I think I'm gonna do that. So I will make a montage of cosplay liming the field and also when we are cultivating the field so it will take in around three hours in real life but i will make short it down to a short montage over some music and then you can enjoy the ride see you a little bit later is done and the lime has been mixed with the soil just as i wanted so that is incredible i have done the last part here myself because i cannot get cosplay to work properly here on the this field i really want cosplay to drive you know this way here up and down the long stretch but then the luck contains too many error or what it says and it will only do the field like this up and down this way here and my patient ran out on this stretch here so i took over myself but now the field is aligned and 
it is also cultivated. That is awesome. So, I would like to know down in the comment from you guys, your guesstimation from this field. How much oat do I gonna get? It is 23 hectares and precision farming soil will be top notch. Everything is done. I have also put herbicide on all the plots here, even though there will be no wheat because the field, field are plowed. But just to get the best yield in precision farming, you know, in here, right here, as you can see, Right now, it says on the whole field, 72, and the middle section here is herbicide. So, I have put that on the field as well. And yes, the field will, of course, be 100% fertilized and so on and so forth. That is a very good I have prepared everything down here, but I will see it in next month in August and that will also be in the next episode. So we're gonna see it and roll the field in the next episode. But what will I do with all this? Yeah, you know, we're gonna put the cultivator there ideally i should have a front way here because i had a lot of wheel spin wheel spin out on the field and then i want to build this up if i can yes i can do that that is very good that was the reason why i took the trailer down here because i will use this case and the black case to see the oat there we go that was very good indeed and this is all ready, ready to go. That is awesome stuff. We're gonna just put it there. I'm gonna close the window there and turn off the engine. So now I want to take the vent and drive the cultivator uh, back to the farm also the new holland and the oh should i just check the black case regards to diesel that is all good so we can take the new holland and the liquid trailer the diesel trailer fuel trailer <laughs> back to the farm as well that is awesome i have painted asphalt on all the roads now during the field here so except my my dirt road here and all the way up to the farm and on the farm as well but all the roads are now with asphalt that is very nice indeed so can we come out here yeah there we go. We don't want to drive to field 13. We want to drive to the farm. There we go. Off with you. And then we're gonna take the new Holland. So, do you like this field here? Please let me know down in the comment. Please let me know down in the comment. Like the video as well and subscribe to my channel. You are free to share my videos as well if you want that. I also have my Facebook page, Farmer Mike on Facebook. I have a link down in the description to that. I have also, down in the description, I have also everything regards to this. Let's play here and what kind of music I'm using and my computer setup and so on and so forth. Ideally, I want a, a better computer at some point. My computer is okay, but my graphic card and some other bit, bits and bobs could be a little bit better. So that is good. That field 13 took a long time to line and also cultivate. I've 
Yeah, you saw in the montage that I was up and oh, rather Outer Drive was filling up the lime spreader once, and that was it. So that is good. That is very good. I have checked all my fields, and everything is in very good condition everything is perfect the only thing there is is my new sorghum field up here is with wheat so we need to spray for wheat in the next month as well i'm gonna jump out here thanks for the ride <laughs> because up here i have my truck and in the last episode i was placing down a field service center up near field 8 and I have here a full load of liquid fertilizer and we need to drive up to field service center with that uh, I'm gonna go out this way here I think and I still got 50 just around 50,000 liters of liquid fertilizer in the production and we are still making that and there we go there is my messy with the herbicide sprayer because i as i told you earlier i was spraying herbicide on field 13 as you can see here liquid fertilizer it is a very very green <laughs> yeah there we go so I have also a bunch of solid fertilizer in my production, but I think I'm gonna sell that and for the money I'm gonna get from the solid fertilizer, I can buy liquid fertilizer. So yeah, you can probably say I converted, so yeah, that is good. I think I'm gonna have a truck number two yeah i want a man truck i think so and i have made under this montage here i have made just around four hundred thousand. that is from my greenhouses so we also gonna do some decoration down the field 13 in august we're gonna place down a windmill and we also gonna place down some trees and make it a little more nice down there let's see if we can unload here there we go that is all good now we got liquid fertilizer in here we got 55,000 that's that should be plenty for a while yeah and when the diesel production is up and running we can put some diesel down here as well i was thinking about to place down a diesel point down at field number 13 ish but now i have my diesel trailer so that can do it that's for sure i'm gonna upgrade my mowers i'm gonna I'm gonna sell my mowers I have now because I want the Crone Big M450 with PTO so I can run that together with the baler. That could be a lot more efficient because then I don't need to occupy a tractor or two for that. There we go. just like that now we got the liquid fertilizer where we want it oh man i have a lot of honey right there we need to solve all this machinery here we got machinery everywhere right now that is not good we gonna do that here
I have also a surprise up at the shop. Can you guess what I bought? It is a, a kind of machinery I can use on one of my fields. Can you guess that? <laughs> yeah, that will be a couple of months before we're gonna use it and and I will just let it be up there in the shop and then I can reveal it later on. Please let me know down in the comment if you can guess what that is. It is a big old machinery, that's for sure. I did it. I did it. I have placed down a second pressure washer in that shed. So we want to try that out. And I want to, actually I want to buy another thing. Oh, look at the oil. We need to deal with that in the next episode as well. I can see that together with the honey perhaps. And then we can make a big pellet sale. That could be awesome stuff, right? Let's see there. And unstrap and turn off the light. Uh, okay, it do that itself or yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That is a very nice indeed. Let's try to let's try to use that pressure washer. Perhaps we can clean every equipment in here. That could be awesome, right? Yeah, that could be quite cool. And the grass looks very good. I thought not that it will have germinated yet, but yes, it has certainly. That is good. Oh, three meters. We cannot do everything here, I guess, but almost right. That could be awesome stuff. I know I have that very nice setup over there, but yeah. This is a little bit easier, you know. I have a lot of equipment now and so this is the most easy way. I want to put down a little thing just because I think it is so cool that I really, really, really want it. And I have totally forget to... Can I... One meter? Um, can I do this? Yes. <laughs> I have totally forget to place it down. And it will cost me 16,000 to place down. And it will not give me anything like that. And I just think it is so cool. And so is this. I can actually... I can actually... Clean a lot of equi equipment in here. And that's nice. I think we're good there. This is quite cool. I could put one more down in here. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. The thing I want to buy is this is the one. I think this is so cool. There we go. So now look at this. This is awesome stuff. Now I can see from here what I got in my silo. I can also see it there if I move close on but look at that canola lime oh we got lime here okay so i don't need to buy that all the time but i only got 15,000 liters we got a little bit of oat okay and seed solid fertilizer we got oh we got 91,000 liters of sorghum okay and we got straw as well we don't need straw in there because I need straw over at my production, so we're gonna move that eventually. That's for sure. That is for sure. And we also got a pressure washer right here. Yeah, just gonna keep it, I think. It is nice to have pressure washer everywhere, so. Let me just clean the PTO right here. 
that is awesome stuff now i feel a little bit better you know my the most of my equipment is clean that lamp spreader needs a little paint job very soon and the cows are doing good cows are doing very good indeed and i got almost 1 million liters of total mixed ration up in my production so that is awesome there we go i think that will be it guys we have done a lot of things today and we will do a lot of things in the next episode thank you for watching take care of yourself and be safe out there in the big world see you again in the next episode right here or on the frugal millionaire Bye-bye.